Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Good news for the holidays, people. The economy is still booming. Shoppers are shopping. We're still adding jobs, and Trump and his company today got found guilty on all counts of tax evasion. Yeah, we all knew he did it. However, Trump's legal team said Trump had no idea of the tax fraud. It was all Ellen Weiselberg. Weiselberg! He's even anti-Semitic with people who he pays. You ever notice Trump never seems to know everything, but swears he has like a good brain. If you look at Mr. Pillsbury, the leading authority, and he was saying that he has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large a brain. So Trump's company has been effectively busted. And the January 6th committee today said they're going to issue criminal referrals to the DOJ. Oh, and this week, Trump said he would like to get rid of all the rules in the Constitution <laughs> on the, I believe, sarcastically named Truth Social. He actually posted this. A massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules regulations and articles even those found in our constitution our great founders which is in quotes what did not want and would not condone false capitalized what and fraudulent elections exclamation point i think random punctuation is a sign of a good brain considering how trump uses punctuation maybe trump actually is that stupid to not know he was lying on his taxes also he's not a massive fraud he's an obese fraud there's a difference he also wears lifts in his kitten heels so the guy who wants to make america great again who claims he's a patriot also wants to tear up the constitution and that's what i'm kind of pissed about i'm not i'm not pissed at trump they, i mean this criminal fool isn't worth any of our time anymore but his followers can you guys explain it to me please so the people that claim they love america more than the democrats who deface the flag in numerous ways claim christianity but show up with guns at lgbtq events and hate immigrants you know like patriot flak vest wearing Jesus would. Then we have the candidates that are, that are this mixed bag of dipshits, traitors, hacks, and morons. I mean, seriously, I don't understand my country right now. What do these Republicans think they're doing? Why would these people vote for the dumbest, most racist, hateful people we have tried to elect in my lifetime? And I don't want to believe that they do it because they're dumb, racist, and hateful. But then I see an interview. Obama's the worst thing that ever happened to America. There's a bit of a cult around Trump. Oh, sure. People, people love him. They admire him. So there's almost a religious devotion to him. I'd say it's just a cult. And I realize, oh yeah, that's the reason. Dumb, racist, hateful. And they believe anything that's put in front of them. You know what, man? I remember when the internet started. We all thought it would bring all the knowledge of the world to everyone that we would all be able to see and know the truth with the, just a couple of clicks. The, the promise of the internet was one of a utopian future where we all united and came together in brilliant progress and created the next evolution of the human race. But instead, these rich dipshits have turned it into a digital Sodom and Gomorrah where insanity and lies are amplified and misinformation gets people killed and the stupid stupidly follow the stupider were being conned by the rich and the evil. And listen, people, I love this country. I really do. And if it were switched and the Republican Party had created 5% growth, 10 million jobs, 656,000 manufacturing jobs, 260 million people got vaccinated. And as of today, gas prices are below where they were before Russia invaded Ukraine. If the Republicans had done all that, I'd be wearing a MAGA hat and wearing a red, white, and blue flag thong and playing proud to be an American on a fucking kazoo. So Republicans, if you want to see that kind of sexy, Try being Americans again. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Ah, you know, I'm good on a fucking kazoo. Uh, you know, the electric kazoo was my favorite thing. I had one of those. I could do like... Step from That's a tracheotomy. Why'd you have a tracheotomy? Because I was like a year old and I stopped breathing, so they cut a giant hole in my throat so I could breathe um, You were smoking it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. come on. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so scar tissue, not only does it heal that area, but the problem is, and you get it, you know, when someone gives you a massage and they go, oh, you got a knot there, right? And they get a little clickety click piece. 
literally that's a piece of collagen that's that's been stuck there to help the muscle recover right. then it ties into muscle fibers and won't move and now it's restricting their movement so that's why you want to break that thing fucking down so so uh before we go any further people uh welcome to the types podcast uh with me uh today is the highlander there could be only one and i have brought in <laughs> I have brought in, dude. I love Highlander. I mean, you and, and I have brought in uh, my good friend and uh, hilarious uh, uh, actor, uh, comedian, and uh, more popular than Robert De Niro, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Ward. Thank you very much. Now, sorry, you just yeah. heard he was he Zach. You started the Zach fact. You started. Zach I, I tried to, to help you with information, and you, you find <laughs> your very is the medical hour. With no, you exactly. It's like trying to teach a caveman anything. about like there's an entrance to the cave. You no, know? It's, yeah. no, it's, Zach. Zach, I have said this before. Zach will always start talking about. I he said I, I don't know. Uh, we're talking about his uh, his wife. lovely wife had yeah. had an operation, and then uh, everything was fine, and then something happened. He's like, we're not sure if it's scar scar tissue, and then he told me how you break down scar tissue basically yeah, it was kind of interesting <clears throat> well that's like three, yeah, was, three dudes uh, get together yeah. scars are coming up yeah oh yeah dude you know, yeah. You know how many big scars he, he, goes, he, he said that you have scars and i said no and he looked at me like wow weird. How about now? maybe, maybe yeah, you know, and i got this one i've been walking around my tracheotomy i take scar. that back i have a scar here from when i uh when i got when i played with the attack dogs uh, <laughs> on, uh at the military base i have good thinking i have a couple other scars. i have one yeah i do i have i have you know man there i have a scar on my arm that and i don't see this big ass scar on my arm mm -hmm. i've had this since i was oh, wow. a little kid yeah i don't remember how i got this and i brought it up a couple of times to people that were around when i was <laughs> little your father was like change the topic Shit, change yeah, quiet, yeah. man. Blocked it out. You i blocked am it out. not lying do you want to hear something crazy so Shit. when i was first looking Shit into got quiet. Um, <laughs> to uh, uh, uh intermittent fasting right uh -huh. there was a guy i saw who went fasting for like 28 days crazy he was a big dude. He got very small. But in the last, he was like, I'm going to push it fa uh, farther. His body ate his own scar tissue. So where he what? had a scar. Yeah, bro. So where he had a scar for like 20 years, the body is so, uh, it's such Amazing. an effective machine that it's like, okay, okay. All right. We need some, we need sustenance. That stuff ain't doing shit. Bah, 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 bah. And he lost scars, dude. I've had this tracheotomy uh, scar since I was a year, year and a half old. I am 50 fucking three. It is still this weird little nobule. It's the reason I usually wear like um, V-necks because I don't like shit touching it. It freaks me out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it does. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing, man. Yeah, it's but, a weird sensation. Yeah, so I have a bunch of That's why we were them. talking about like scar tissue needs to get broken down by the body. And and my wife had a spinal surgery. She had, um, you know the name, when it's uh, the stuff. They fused it. Not fused. It's the one where it's bulging out, bulging disc, right? right. So they had to go in, cut through it. And here's the funny part. Uh, very classy lady, my wife, but she does have a tattoo. One of those cool things that it reads both ways, upside down, uh -huh. and it and it spells out karma on her tramp stamp on the back there. I love you to death, <laughs> baby. But the fact that your tattoo that says karma now has a scar through it, <laughs> perfect. I couldn't have written it that better is, myself. That is pretty, that That's is. pretty awesome. Like you are just a character in a no novella <laughs> that I want to put <laughs> on right, television. So, since you yeah. know everything, man, since you know oh. everything. I, we just did the, uh, I did the Armageddon update about why I don't get, the good news is by the way, everything's going well. The economy's still, is still kicking ass. Gas prices today fell below uh -huh. where they were before Russia invaded Ukraine. Right. Um, we've got 260 million people uh, have got at least one dose of the vaccine. Uh, we've got, uh, this is all kinds of cool January shit. 6th guys are going January down. January 6th, oh, Trump, Trump is going down. Trump, Trump today. <laughs> this 18, shit is happening. The Trump Corporation got convicted in all eight counts. Oh, really? The stuff in New York City? All yeah. eight counts on tax fraud and tax evasion and then uh nah. trump and then their their payroll company also got convicted on eight or nine counts all of it and, and every, every count they got convicted on which is great um they're gonna appeal it obviously because yeah, that's, yeah. that's what he does he keeps beating the shit out stuff um uh and so I, I think things are getting better you said something today made me write the armageddon update which is like it seems like people are kind of democrats are like no no fuck these people we're not gonna and i don't understand mm -hmm. something and this is maybe you can give us an insight because i think i brought up to ray a couple times how the hell do these supposedly thinking people continue to vote for a guy like herschel walker just because he's a republican i dude if it was flipped if it was flipped and the democrats had had fucked yeah, up the yeah, pandemic yeah. had fucked up everything had had raised the debt had, had seven trillion to the debt i would i'd be wearing a maga hat i'd be like i, yeah, I, so I think that's yeah. the difference it's like you watch the like a late night with seth myers or something right you watch that and he'll make fun of biden 
And I think the difference is I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I like good ideas. And when ideas mm -hmm. seem retarded, yeah, if it's sorry, not retarded, but criminal, seem criminally and stupid. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive, but they come off as criminally in stupid. No, the answer is no. And I'm not going to fall in love with no like a cult. And no matter which party. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That, but that's what I'm saying is yeah. even in our comedy, you'll see Seth Meyers being like, and Biden stumbles around the stage, falls four times up a staircase, and he's making fun of the man because it was funny, not right. belittling him. But that's the thing that's so weird about either extreme, whether it's you're a, a left-wing social Democrat or a right-wing Republican, <laughs> you fall in love with the party regardless. And that's where it becomes a cult. And that's the mm -hmm. scary stuff to me. But that's what I'm saying is like, I'm an actualist. I always say, if you, 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 you live hard, I go, no, I'm an actualist. Give me the facts. Right. What's the numbers? Oh, shit. Those guys did a good job. These guys sent a bunch of cats to burn down in, in the in mm -hmm. Congress and kill Nancy Pelosi. Right. Ah! And we yeah. were talking today. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, you know, oh, they're both sides are bad. No, not right now. <laughs> not fucking right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the are past, you, I yeah. would say, okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but we talked about ideas that I was like, just give me a good idea. Like, and, and, and the Republicans' idea is gay people are bad, trans yeah. people are bad. What's the other well, thing? Uh, Immigrants are bad. They're galvanizing their base because the base always rushes out and do, does stuff. And they've always been the people that you can wind up into a fury. Remember when McCain was running opposite Obama? And I got to be honest, I really like McCain. I respected McCain. Yeah. yeah you, and he went yeah. To, you, you, yes. He was, a, he was a guy you'd be like, yeah. I know what you did. I respected you. And yeah. when mm -hmm. Trump was making fun of him, like, I don't respect people who get caught like the, what he may not captured. remember captured yeah. yeah he stayed there on purpose he wouldn't leave without his men because he had the option to leave like that's some fucking hero yeah. stuff right there right but i remember mccain was doing a town hall and he's walking around weird arm all messed up he's like you know obama is and they're like he's a muslim and he's like well no no he's a christian he's a terrorist no he's from like he's a sandwich no 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 but his town hall said sandwich like, yeah, let's go get that sandwich. You're like, dude. And you saw McCain just back out. And that was the, but the problem is when you keep on pandering to that base. Yeah. Whether you're pandering to a social Democrat base. You've said a bunch of words today that are really going to get us called out. Oh, oh yeah. That's, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> kink, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do apologize. So, they were so just, here's, the, yeah. here's the thing. So, but McCain also, when that one lady, there's that video. And this is where this is where I've lost the Republican Party, I, where they've lost. I, yeah. There was a party of like, they had values to some degree. McCain was one of the guys. That yeah. get, lady goes, he's a Muslim. And he goes, ma'am, no, he's not. I know the man. I have some disagreements with him. Right. He goes but he's a good man he's yeah. a good family man and he goes to church and they called him a, yeah church and he and, said and, they called him a terrorist he's like no he's a can american citizen he yeah well but that's right. but, so the terrorists we actually have these this is what i was talking about i'm gonna update like so you guys claim the word patriot they claim the word patriot stole uh, the word patriot stole, yeah but they and then they are like america and yet they deface if they don't even know what the flag code is when you're wearing like yes. cargo shorts made out of a flag you're violating the flag code when you actually take an american flag and put Donald Trump's picture on it, you're actually that breaking too. the law. When yeah. I went to the United Nations building for the film premiere of Trade, and I got to walk down this, I mean, it's the United Nations building, dude. So there's flags on either side, walking down all this press. I didn't know what you're talking about. So I went over to for the Canadian flag and literally security was like, sir, you cannot touch that without going to jail. I was like, yep. Okay. I will, <laughs> yeah. I <will> fake. <laughs> Shag Fonzie. Yeah. Right there. It's um, Canadian jail. That's not <laughs> Yeah, it's not really jail. It's really nice. <laughs> but we we've gotten to this place where there's a whole group of people now that, that the law good, doesn't that, apply to. But they also, yeah, but, but it's like, you can't arrest everybody for just doing something stupid. But, but and the, these are the same assholes that flew the Confederate flag in the in the in the in the capital like yeah. what like how do you yeah. claim to be a a christian and b an american if you you're actually against the country trump said this week it's in the armageddon update he said this week that he would like because of the fraud that was that was laid down in the last election which nobody there's ne we've Never 60 cards get nope yeah. nope no, not not one not, not one uh, um that he says they need to that, that and because of the fraud, it's legal to suspend all the rules in the constitution. Oh, right. and, oh yeah. Jesus and Christ! Put, I forgot and about put that. me back in office. Yeah. And he's like, and you, can like you know do what? This? Like, what, what do you think? He's going, going, you know, he's right. You know what? Whoa, whoa! Biden, you gotta go. Nah, and, and the way he posed it, like, 
well, you can either do the one thing that I want or you do the other thing that I want. You're like, <laughs> ask about the options. You don't supply the options. You're not in charge of shit, yeah. buddy. You don't just go get to pull up the Constitution club, and rip it. Go hand out golf clubs at Marlago, But how bitch. do you claim to be a patriot? How do his people claim to be patriots when they when the dude that they follow is going, yeah, man, uh, we're just going to we're just gonna gut the Constitution. But that's the easiest place to hide is hide in the, uh, wrapping yourself in the flag, wrapping yourself in the idea of patriotism. You or Jesus. And you Exactly. Yeah. And the thing that you're not allowed to ask questions of anything is dogmatic if oh if i disagree with you in any way i'm not a patriot and i'm not a good christian or i'm not a good citizen well the reality is we're here because we ask questions this mice mic exists the, the 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 cameras exist because we question everything science we make a better country because it's a test and that's what they fall in love with people who don't want to ask questions but and here's the thing i talked about the internet in in the update uh, like we had this thing that we all thought when it was invented that was going to bring knowledge uh, uh, uh and, and progress to everybody the internet and the internet ended up oh being yeah this it's had fuck, the opposite effect this fucking thing what the fuck it has and it hasn't i mean here's the I, thing i guess it goes both ways it goes both ways but, and also the dumber people uh, uh, the Kruger Dunning, Dunning effect. Do you guys know what Dunning, that is? Yeah, Dunning yeah, the Dunning Kruger effect. Thank you. So it's can I say fucktards? Is that yes? You can say okay, anything. So it's the fucktards with the loudest voice that make the biggest noise. Yeah, the people who are actually mm -hmm. trying to do something with the mm -hmm. knowledge and the access, they're they're busy trying to do that. But these right, are, the squeaky wheels. But here's what yeah. I get. Here's my problem. These people are getting fucked over on the daily. Their yeah. tax dollars is being given to corporations. They're getting fucked over on the daily, and they're like, nope, that's my guy. They're not making that connection. They're just no. listening to these like these cult leaders. Yeah. Just like a, a giant mega church. They're handing over their money. They're just blindly following. Faith. Gotta have yeah. faith. It's just ridiculous. It's sad. Like Bruce Springsteen said, blind faith in your leaders or in anything will get you killed. Yep. One, one, two, three, three four. four. <laughs> what well, is it good? Um, yeah. Uh, so, so you're here. It's the Christmas season. It is. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, by the way, if uh, you want to can see Zach's movie, uh, Christmas Story, Christmas, Christmas, story, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Story, Christmas. I was going to say two, but we, they did no, it too. No, no, they did a Christmas Story too. It was not canonical. As I believe mm. it's called, uh, it, it's no in offense. the Star Wars universe. Is what it is, dude. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's how far that's, that's out. out. <laughs> and it was Legos. It was, <laughs> yeah. and that one would have been sadly. It was uh, one of the guys was from uh, um, Home Alone. One of the wet bandits from Home Alone is in it. The oh. um, the tall guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, Pesci. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Daniel Stern. Daniel. Hey, hey, there you go. And yeah. I I never saw the movie. Got horrible reviews, and I felt so sorry for those actors because it wasn't that good. But. Um, so this is a Christmas story, Christmas, the one I'm in with Peter Billingsley, Scotty Schwartz, R.D. Robb, Yano Anaya, Ian Petrella, all the original uh, cast. What did I watch it on? H was it HBO? HBO Max. Oh, HBO Max. HBO, okay. People, you got to watch this movie. It's so good. And they did. They hit every beat exactly yeah. right. There's a scene. You guys remember Zach played Scott, uh, Scott Farkas in the, in the original movie. And dude, you're like everybody's nightmare bully. Yeah. You're like worldwide. Yeah. That fucking character when he was, how old are you when you were? 12, 14? 13 yeah 13 fucking crushed it bro Dude, Thank you. 13 damn just, 13. just the eyes and <laughs> it's like the fucking, <laughs> la fucking laugh you're like, <laughs> um, um but you're i, I don't want to give it away but there's a scene uh when you yeah as you're an, as an adult which is just so fun it was so good i actually called you i picked up the phone and i, I hate giving you compliments because we've yeah. known each other way too long and uh and it was so so fucking good you're such a good actor thanks man it, it was it, it's they did such a great job with the film and i you know, I, I've been doing a lot of interviews about this thing, and people have asked me why the original Christmas story lasted. It's 40 years now, dude. 40 years next year. And you think about this. Every other Christmas movie, Santa Claus flies on his magical sleigh with eight mm -hmm. freaking reindeer mm -hmm. from the North Pole, mm -hmm. lots of elves and a magical bag. A lot of magical magic. Yeah. Yep. yeah. There is magic, and it's in the little boy's imagination, and the mm -hmm. family is going through a crappy time in the 40s. Mm -hmm. They don't have any food, so they're eating red cabbage over and over again. They can't afford tires in the fucking car. Yep. They have to haggle over a Christmas tree. Shit goes wrong. The furnace doesn't work. Everything goes wrong, and it works beautifully because the reality of Christmas is the people that you love that you're with, that's the magic of Christmas. And that was the thing that worked so well in the first one. And then in the sequel, and you, I don't want to give away any spoilers because I think what they really do beautifully is capture the essence, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate, where there's a timestamp in your life that everybody comes together. 
and it was really beautifully done. And yeah, I, I thought yeah. Peter Billings, like, Yo, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Peter Billings, like, there's moments like I'll be who honest, hasn't acted in a, in a while. In he's a been long producing time, stuff, dude. and he yeah. did a great job. He did a great. And there's these moments, and you'll you'll know what I mean. Is like you get into it, and you're like, okay, nice light holiday fair, and then you're like, oh, and it grabs you a little bit, and then he's talking to Julie Haggerty at the house, yep. and you go near the end. Oh, no, in the beginning. Oh, I thought at well at the end. When, oh, oh, of course, yeah. of course, there. But I mean, there's moments of genuine honesty. It's not like, okay, mom, let's have a great Christmas, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not that silly schmarmy crap. And yeah. the thing I really love about it is the husband, the father is not a buffoon. He's doing the best he can, mm -hmm. but he's respected by his wife and his kids. He treats them with respect. There is a sense of like, people can treat each other well. People can mm -hmm. love each other. People mm -hmm. can screw up and not be like, oh, dad, dad doesn't know. He's an idiot and because fact, penises. And you're the, like, stop. Yeah. The only time in the first one where they where the, where the dad was silly was the leg lamp. Yeah. That, that, and that, that was because he was so fucking Yeah, because he was so yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, the leg lamp was uh, is, is so much in uh, that movie. Fra Sh fragile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, I mean, that's yeah. genius. Maybe the bowling ball, but that's, that's you know, we all go through one. that. The bowling ball is cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But his, yeah, the, he has so many moments where he's like, and he ad-libbed all all that swearing. What? No but, shit. Yeah, all, the, all that swearing hmm. that was non-swearing yeah, yeah. so that they could keep a PG rating. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, uh, and then you're doing you're doing a, a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. You get shot in the face. The, hey, spoiler guy, can we blank that out? Like, like, <laughs> let, oh yeah, because you're right. I'm sorry, it's going to be a big major. Uh, <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm paying my bills by but acting. But even more so, yeah. you have your own movie that you spent years on, and I yes. won't fucking stop talking about. Yeah! I hear it every fucking time. No, you ask me every time, <laughs> <laughs> and it's 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 almost done. So this is Patsy Lee and the Keepers of the Five Kingdoms, which is starring James Hong from Big Trouble in Little China and Blade. Uh, what does Blade James Run? Hong sound like? <clears throat> That would be a racist for me to do on camera. <laughs> no, when he's a kid. No, you're not doing it. No, you're doing James Hong. You're doing a specific uh, James person. James Hong, he would talk to you like this. I was like, I would need to do it faster. You are taking too long. <laughs> so good. He's so good. awesome. I work with him on the special unit pilot. He yeah. played my landlord. Right. And uh, and he mm. was he was he had like three lines and he had he had he had three lines and about an hour of notes on those three lines. <laughs> <laughs> buddy he just got his star on the hollywood walk of fame oh you know this this july i was at the event it was awesome he was like isaac it is it is james hong i'm like i know who's calling i've been talking to you for three years okay zach I'm, i have my event on the that saturday the, i'm getting my star on the walk of fame you, you should be there went, which was awesome and then an a24 financed it wow. you know, a big oh. party there because he came out and everything everywhere all at once so big deal right and jamie lee curtis is there and kay kwan is there and all the, the doesn't directors. it cost like 50 grand or something yeah like yeah that? that alone cost 50 but that was the star cost 50 and that was raised by all these people in the asian uh and pacific islander uh community out of respect for mr hong which is awesome and then a24 threw a party it made you know made it even a bigger kadoo that's cool so the, james is the eternal busker you know oh. we, they, we at the party people are getting up on stage saying you know james hong baba da boo from and it's jamie lee curtis and all these people from a24 he's handing out flyers oh baby he had fans made with his face on him going ah and yeah oh was, he really did oh yeah yeah oh, if shit. i had one i have one <laughs> he wasn't home. selling them no he was giving them away so we could all be like oh, hello <laughs> and so literally <laughs> he's got merch. This, he brought merch he brought merch, own, merch. Own, oh he's amazing to his hollywood <laughs> that, <of> buddy <laughs> he is not playing the guy is turning 94 in february and he don't joke and he turns to me he's like and he grabs me he does one of those old man like what are you doing Oh, yeah. he's, like, what? he's like why don't you go up there and talk in the microphone about patsy lee i'm like uh like, no one asked me to number one yeah. number two not my party i think that would be kind of rude number three white guy at the asian <laughs> celebration financed by someone else gotta be honest the optics aren't good bro so you might have watched the white guy me. poster child i thought i was yeah. but then i oh, met yeah. you and i was like with the red hair no, and the perfect no, nah no nah. it just gets no, i'm pinker. not even yeah it just you're gets just pinker. Uh, so we, that we're fi i'm finishing off that movie uh it looks fantastic it's like uh, big trouble in little china meets uh the goonies uh with a little bit of dark crystal and labyrinth in there 
I yeah. like all those things. All yeah, right. it was an homage but, to my. The but 80s. for what mm-hmm. he made it, when you see it, it's like it, it's like it took so long because he's doing all the special effects with with brilliant screen and yeah. and, and they're doing them themselves. And shit, man, it, it's it 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 doesn't like special unit. You go, yeah, okay, I know that. Yeah, like, it costs that much. Yeah, that's about right. Right. <laughs> Your movie, you're like, how much? It's yeah. amazing. It's it's guys when it comes out, Patsy Lee. Uh, you got to go see it. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? I want to talk about oh, the DOJ actually said uh, uh, January sixth committee said they're going to uh, file criminal charges. They're going to recommend criminal charges to the DOJ against whom? Uh, they think. Well, it's everybody. They didn't say who, but we're guessing it's going to be Trump. Just the whole insurrection and crowd? Oh, the whole, yeah. All the guys, just gets dude, emailed. All the uh, guys. And this dude, we talked about it last week. This dude, Jack Smith, is a bad motherfucker. He actually just filed um, for the grand jury in three different states. Everybody oh everybody who talked to Trump, he says, I need every single record. I want every email. I want everything. It was Wisconsin, Ohio. Everybody where, where the sketch wow. were sketching, he filed. He sent them to all the, the heads of those. Says, that's our Elliot Ness. Dude, he's you know a, what I'm saying? He oh, is, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. He is he is a badass. He's yeah. a legit man. Uh, and I can't, I can't, I didn't. I, man, I what happens though? What, what the fuck happens if they arrest Trump? I mean, I think we all waited. celebrate. Yeah, we yeah, all dance. No, but the, but these 15 percent of the Republican Party that believes him are going to start whipping out their weapons. Hey, here's here's think? my thought. Well, because they they were basically alluding to this during the midterms. Oh, if it doesn't go the way we want it to, there's going to be a cacophony going over here. It's going to be crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And not they a, don't know not the word a thing cacophony. happened. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> cacophony. But don't know. once these January 6th people started, I mean, look, when I par- stop at a park, uh, par- a stop sign and someone goes racing through it, a cop needs to catch that guy because we have rules that we agree yeah, agreed right, to. Right. So mm-hmm. when monkey fucks go over to the Capitol and bust in, you go to jail. And they thought they'd get away with that shit. They thought it'd be like, oh, well, Trump doesn't go to jail for anything he does. Yeah. He fucks his a porn life. star on his wife, you know, all this stuff. And he goes, Scott free. So they thought they were going to slide in on that. And I think they started going, oh, oh, shit. No, I got to pay the piper. I don't, I can't afford this. And yeah. after the midterms, they didn't do dick. No. They yeah. pouted. We're going to walk around with yeah. our constitutional rights to stand outside a voting center with AK-47s or whatever dipshit move. Fine, that's your right. You do what you do, but don't touch anybody, don't cross a line. And they didn't. they didn't. So I think they're gonna do what they can do legally and be smart, because otherwise you're going to jail or you're gonna get shot. Well, also, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you dumb, what do you obese dumb fucks gonna do? You're gonna show up where, do what, with the National Guard and our military? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, I, I just don't it's quite ridiculous. understand what they're even thinking. It's the uh, same thing like when people play yeah, but, Dungeons and Dragons. You got a sword, you're going to fight a dragon. There's no dragons. Yeah, but I it's think, a tank, yeah, but I think they did yeah. it smart though because what they did was by getting this Jack Smith on, uh, Merrick Garland, who's kind of who droopy dog, I'm not going to arrest people if they do something wrong. <laughs> they got this psycho guy in there who's who literally, every picture of him, he's like, mm, like he just looks okay. like, yeah, yeah he like the, t- the T-3000. He looks like the next Terminator. He's got trailer music just yeah, always behind yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. So he he's there and I think what's going to happen is now they've let Trump continue to be stupid and they haven't. So now, yes, this week when he said you know, we should just suspend the Constitution, I think even even if you're the worst farthest right fucking flak vest wearing nazi sympathizer proud boy you're gonna be like did he just say to get rid of the constitution (laughs) after (laughs) six six years on their shirts after for six years we've been bitching about follow the constitution no democrat has ever said that let's get rid of the constitution so i think what's gonna happen is they've they've now taken trump down so low that when it does happen there may be some i don't think there's gonna be a scrum i I really hope that they find i hope they find a really good republican i i I wish we had more than a two-party system, but there used to be a great Republican uh, party here in the United States. Which, yeah, they had some fucked up values at certain points, but they had some really good points. And I want more McCain's. I want to. I yeah. want to have an, a. I want to have a t- at least a two-party system where both are c- coming up with really good creative ideas to solve problems yeah. and make the country a better place for everybody, not just this specific group, because we deserve that as a country. Well, yeah, I don't want to be in a place where you're really. Sp- scared that right. Herschel Walker is going to win. Dude, what the fuck, like, man? Like, somebody, like, like, 
I should not be a senator, and I'm a lot smarter than that guy. <laughs> yeah, my Twitter, like, there's no on way. On my Twitter, people go, Titus, man, you should run for office. And I said, and that's the problem that you right. said right. that. That's right. the problem that you right. think. Because you got Marjorie, you got all these idiots that are, got elected. Bobert, Bobert got her GED like six months before she got into Congress. Like during that, the period Bro. that you're- Really? Yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? With her CrossFit certification. It was just, it was just <laughs> two, two. She did a couple kipping pull-ups. <laughs> that's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, that's where just, oh they're oh the fucking God. same. That's the point. That's the period you're talking about is when there was, it wasn't so stressful no. that there was like a psycho narcissist, right. you know, like morons versus like knew- a reverend who's also, you know, a lawyer and like. Even yeah. going back to HW or W, you're like, okay, well, at least I know, well, you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna scam the country, they're gonna help the oil companies, that, right. but I don't, I'm not gonna get up every day like I did with Trump and look at my phone like, ah, fuck, 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 yeah. fuck. One of them ran the CIA. Yeah. When Bush se- Bush Senior ran the CIA, he knew his stuff backwards and forwards. He wasn't walking into the White House. Yeah, he knew with the reality. Documents yeah. being exposed like that's someone. You want someone to protect the country. And right. Of course, there's going to be skull and if I don't, that level. And if I don't agree with him, at least I, again, at least I know I'm going to get up tomorrow and it's going to be okay. Right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we don't, we, and we have, and Herschel Walker, like Herschel Walker said, uh, this is yesterday or something. He said, the werewolves? he goes, no, oh, that was awesome. That was, oh, well, that two, was, that was like two weeks ago, but yeah, that, yeah, that, come but that, on. Was, that was, no, he said, he goes, he goes, I don't know what's going on, man. He goes, he goes, I military, I got all these pronouns in the military. Now I got to teach woke in the, in me a minute. He goes, pronouns, I don't even know what a pronoun is, but I don't like them. I don't, Somebody, I don't know what a pronoun is. <laughs> Somebody just handed him like talking points with like, you know, five words on it. And he's like, Pro- pronouns, I don't know what that is. Say say it's pronouns because they don't like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. They, they'll they'll, they'll the respond cult. to that. That's the cult. Yeah. Let me change the topic. Because Thanks, the, other thing that I, the other thing that I'm doing that matters to me that I would like to use your platform to I'm already market. Boring, I'm already boring myself. So uh, I can see that. So <laughs> is uh, I, I I'm going to be in Ohio and December seven for December seventeenth and eighteenth I'm doing a fundraiser for Alzheimer's Association in Ohio. Um, this camera, this camera, this camera. What do you got going? No, um, December seventeenth I will be at the Christmas Story House. Uh, free photographs, free signed autographs photo opportunity with me it is all free the hope is that uh you can show up and please make a donation to the alzheimer's association that's on the 17th saturday the december 17th on saturday december uh, sunday 18th this is cool hbo and warner brothers very kindly donated a free screening of a christmas story christmas awesome which is awesome over at the highland theater in akron ohio december 18th uh sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning again i'll be there grand marshalling nice. kind of meeting people shaking hands taking photos with right. them signing autographs right. everything again for free in exchange for please donate and if you can't donate because i also grew up broke so just share the information the alzheimer's association helps people out a lot my father has alzheimer's i talk a little fucking bit of, hate alzheimer's talk and if a i can bit about murder that. it in a brutal way, I would love to murder Alzheimer's. And it, it came yes. on your dad fast, didn't it? It didn't. It didn't. So the weird thing about Alzheimer's is like he got diagnosed in 2020. I was there with him in the room when it happened. Broke my fucking heart. I had to do everything I could to stop the tears so I wouldn't scare him. Literally, it gets to a point. So what? Ha- so when did you start noticing? What? What? what what's? What, what exactly happened? Exactly what happened? He was meeting me at my house. Now my house, Let's right? See. Yep. My house over yonder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the mic. Yeah, yeah, that would help, yeah. right? So he's coming over to my house. My father uh, and I had remodeled my house years ago when I was doing Titus. Yep. So my dad had been at my house for like, you know, a thousand times over a period of like 15 years. And um, he was uh, on the way to the house. I get a phone call. I'm talking to him. He's like, I'm lost. I'm like, what do you mean you're lost? He's like, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I'm like, okay. Now he's. He grew up in the valley, dude. He's been scampering around here in his truck mm-hmm. for 50 Ever, fucking yeah. years. Ever, yeah? yeah. So now I have to walk him through where he's at. And this is the funny thing. I'm like, so <clears throat> dad, where are you? Can you see street name? I think so. What does it say? I, can't, I don't know. Can you see which way you're facing? North, south, east, west? I don't know. That was a big thing because he was an Eagle Scout. So he knows. Right, right, right. But you'll get this because he knows my dad. I'm like, well, can you see the... Can you see the mountains? Uh, that those would be south. He goes. I see them, Zach, but they're called foothills. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, so he's 
Still a dick. Still there. Okay, yeah. Dad. Oh, I'm Hold sorry. Up. It sounds oh. like someone I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Not yet. So here's the thing. I had to go get him. Uh, and then he followed me back. He drove his truck. I drove my car and he got to my house and we we're sitting outside. And I asked him, I said, has this happened before? He's like, has what happened? I said, getting lost. He goes, I don't get lost. I'm like, oh. you got lost here. He went, mm. oh, 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 yeah. So that was the big impetus. And then, so it's like it just switches off. You don't remember anything. Dude, it's, like, it's like a blackout. It's like it's almost. Imagine this. Okay. I, so, I so your brain basically has a buffer system in it. So if I started telling you a bunch of things when you were younger, because we're in our 50s, so it changes as you get older. You always tell me a bunch of things. Fuck, it doesn't stop. Right. Go ahead. But because I'm hoping you can one day learn and grow Jesus as a person. Christ. So, oh but boy, you know. Go. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, but as you tell people things, you, you basically have a buffer. And the younger you are, like in your 20s, the buffer is about eight. So if you go one through eight and then you get to nine, well, you're going to murder one there. You're just going to forget that. But as you get older, that buffer gets smaller. So you get to four or five. And you know, we five all know. things you remember. Is what you're yeah. Okay. As you're yeah. like, oh, I'm watching TV. Oh, I need to go do that thing. Those five things. I'm going to walk out of the TV room to go do bup, 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 bup. Right? Mm -hmm. And we've all had this moment where like, get the cup of coffee in my glasses. What was I doing? What the fuck was I doing again? We all have that moment, right? Right. Well, that with dementia, with uh, Alzheimer's, that break, that break, you don't even remember that you forgot you that you were there was something you're gonna do. Wow. It just is gone now. It's as if the neurons just went fire, 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 gone. Wow. And it's dude, it's I it's hard not to talk about it and get emotional because I was there when we did the when we did the um cognition test. And that's the thing that Trump was crowing about accomplishing, which is not <laughs> wow. that's like bro, yeah. that's like that's like that's like bragging about tying your shoelaces they make you and take pointing that. at it as someone who's disabled and be like, ha ha, you can't tie your yeah. shoelaces like I can. You're like, that no, guy's got no hands. No, he right. was Like proud. that's some fucked up shit, dude. But but he was proud. That He doesn't understand that they gave they gave him that test because we think you're we're losing your mind. No, because at a certain age, you should all take it. And then he's bragging about being normal and not understanding that there's a whole bunch of people who are not. And, they're, and this sucks. Yeah. Sorry, I get emotional about it. Oh, dude. So dude, literally I get my it. I dad, get it. just you understand how simple this test is, guys. One of them is like, I don't know if the camera can see the base of the microphone, but it's a circle. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a circle there. It goes, draw a clock. You know, 12, 3, yeah. 6, 9. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not for my dad. Mm -hmm. Took him like five minutes staring at this thing. That's a long time when you're watching someone think. Yeah. And then all the numbers went on one side, turned it around four into a little little ellipses right there a little circle like a little yeah. all on one side that's not how clocks work trying to put in 10 to 11 got so angry he started swearing at the nurse when mm. they asked him to bisect a triangle a triangle bisect cut it down the middle yeah. two minutes he's been a contractor his entire life yeah he oh just, yeah he, yeah and, so it's yeah. especially bro bro it's, yeah. it's and terrifying and i'm sitting there just like oh my god and then they the guy walks up and they do not fuck with you he walks and goes uh, the, the doctor because my one of the things that happens when you start getting alzheimer's you start getting pissy you start yeah, getting yeah angry. you're frustrated all the time and you it's think a, it's somebody else's fault yeah i, I mean it gets it's just a constant yeah rage and so my dad was getting persnickety and aggressive with um the nurse lady uh lady nurse and it wasn't her fault but he was getting frustrated and the doctor at one point said, Mr. Ward, you need to watch your tone of voice with our nurse, please. She's trying to help you. So you need to calm down. I understand that you're upset, but let's not take it down on an innocent person, okay? Oh, okay. So you can see that the bedside manner is. Yeah. And then after the he fills out the paperwork that the test, I'm dying. Like I'm crying. I'm turning away. And I don't want to, I don't want to scare my dad. Eh? So you watch this. You, I'm you sitting right this beside was hand, 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 Holy yeah. shit, man. The real is I can't even fathom. Oh, watching him trying to. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I'm doing this because I don't want him to see me cry because I don't want him to be scared. Yeah. Yeah. So it's then, also yeah. one of the strongest dudes you've ever known, a mm. dude that lifted you up, a dude that yeah, you're yeah, grounding yeah. strapped to yeah, the yeah. earth, man. I yeah. get it. I yeah. get it. Yeah. And then he walks in, the doctor walks in, sorry. And he goes, uh, sorry, man. yeah. I, he goes, uh, Mr. Ward, you have, uh, fuck. It's all right. Yeah. You have, uh, dementia, Alzheimer's stage four, there is no cure. You need to uh, figure out what you're going to do with your rest of your life. I'm sorry, sir. This is uh, the uh, 
diagnosis. And the worst news you could possibly get. Yeah. And my dad go, my dad just deflates. He goes, this is the worst thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. You've broken my heart. Wow. So, so, then, so I walk him out and he doesn't remember what just happened. Hmm. He didn't remember what he just got told. How are you feeling, dad? Good. Why? Holy shit. Yeah. Man. So then you had to so, just carry that yep. and hold on to it, f that info and for then, him. And then move him out, move, pack up his entire world, yep. sell his vehicles, take away his license, take away his car keys, his motorcycle keys, make sure that they're sold to people, mm -hmm. get, t find him a place to live, move him to Eugene, Oregon, be, while I'm taking care of him the whole time and yep. he does not get it. It's a fucking soul crusher. Yep. And the Alzheimer's Association really helped. Yep. They really helped me not lose my shit like I am on camera now. So guys, Merry do me Christmas. a favor, uh, 17th and 18th of December, uh, please, uh, and, and by the way, even if you can't be there, do me a favor, go to the Alzheimer's Association and donate it, uh, uh, mention, uh, mention Zach, uh, Zach's dad. Um, what's your dad's name? Todd Ward. Todd, Todd Ward. Todd. Um, and if you can make a donation in, in, in Todd's work, because by the way, none of us want this to happen to any of us. Dude. Any of us, are, especially people we love. So uh, it sucks. If we can get, if we can get them enough, we, is there a cure for it? I don't understand what happens See, to your brain. What are they saying? There is your no brain? fucking cure, dude. But what are they saying? It, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but I will be honest, I don't know enough about it. Um, there is plaque builds up. There's there's like a, a disconnect between neurons and so forth. Um, Do they know anything that causes it, or does your brain grow something that blocks the neurons? Of it. There's a whole bunch of different things that that cause it. And what's been so strange is in the past. You know, we did an ep excuse me, we did an episode on Titus about Alzheimer's with um very famous comedy lady, wonderful woman with a big uh, diamond. Uh, Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller. Yeah, yeah, what a sweetheart yeah. of a lady. She was amazing. And I remember this. Yep. Yep. And but so many other people are like, oh, it's old timers. And they sort mm -hmm. of allocate it to people who are in their 80s and they're not or, or to an age where you don't matter anymore. And that's the thing. I'm 53. You're 50 something, eh, you're 12. But the thing is, <laughs> eventually everybody watching this is going to be 50 plus. And I still feel like my life is just starting. I feel like I'm yeah. creative and I want to do cool yeah. stuff. And for all those of you out there who are younger, you will feel inside your head, unless there's some type of pain, you will still feel like, ooh, what can I do next? Well, this takes all that away. It doesn't just kill you because it doesn't kill you. It's not like cancer. You don't have a, you don't expire. You keep fucking going for a year, five years, 10 years, but you're now useless. Your whole life is gone. Yeah. You lie in a bed. You can't, you shit your pants. You can't feed yourself. You can't talk. You can't get dressed. You're so angry all the time. You sit there in an internal fucking rage. You know what would have It's helped? a nightmare, dude. All of this. And before I forget, hello fresh wow this episode is brought to you by so we have to do okay yeah. all right all right i'm hello gonna give you fresh. i'm gonna give you a zero on the on the on the <laughs> that transition was, yeah. nice. that was that was uh, uh, uh that was almost by the way hello fresh uh this company uh, that we use all the time uh um they send you uh, the food company right dude they're so yeah, good ace here's, gets it but it's like like i you know you think okay they're gonna deliver me food okay whatever and then you get it and it's this it's it, everything's perfect you have to make it and every time we, you we, microwave we, it right no no, no, no. you cook it dude oh, it's, this dude, is it's the other fresh one. dude it's fresh food that you cook and then it, i i call it look food you you you, 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 get, you Ray will put something in front of me and i'll be like holy shit like it's that's how good it is yeah mm. it's holy shit good it's every, simple every, everything comes packed ready to go with the with the picture of the how to cook it yeah 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 and it's like and, oh, and 20 then you minutes. Get the, and then you get the menu. Like, so Ray's done a couple. There's this panko chicken that she's made. That she's made it on her own with the, with the recipe card that they, they send with it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Tis the season for saving money wherever you can. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less really? expensive yeah. yes, yes. than takeout. So you can use those savings for holiday gifts or treat yourself. And with the money you save, you can donate to the Alzheimer's Association. There you Boom. go. You're eating well and, there you you got go. life, and you're saving lives. Keep going. Whether you're hosting a holiday party or just stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything you need at HelloFresh Market. From quick breakfast to charcuterie, to charcuterie boards and desserts, it's never been easier to prep for a party or fill your pantry. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus18 and use the code Titus18 for 18 free meals plus what? free shipping. Yeah, you, you sign up for the subscription and you get in it over, over, over three months, you get 18 free meals. I'll tell you what, man, it is so, when you get it, 
because the good news about it, what I love about it is that you're actually cooking. It's Titus like, 18 at HelloFresh. Uh, yeah, Titus HelloFresh.com slash Titus 18. Okay. Get that deal. I will do that. But I became a better cook. You become a much better cook, huh? Because of yeah. this stuff. Yeah. I'm like proud. I feel like I'm an actual He's like, got cook. a kid. You can make it. And so, uh, Look so at guys, him. get HelloFresh. It's a, a, and we, oh, I, that's a big thing with the podcast. We do not, I, like we have get so many offers for ads and I'm like, no. You know, whatever it's a, it, unless we use it and, and it's mm. good. Um, we've got you got some we got some crazy shit offered. <laughs> I was like, yeah, not a chance. Um, I want people to add, I want people to get to a place where they're like, oh, I, if they sell it, it's good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a good reputation. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 anyway, so your dad is now living in Eugene, Eugene, Oregon, at mm. a full care medical facility about a mile away from my sister, and I go out there. I he was here in L.A. for about a year, then I uh, at the end of twenty. 21. I remember talking to you about it when I had yeah. yes, uh, 21. Yeah, I it was it happened in 2020 and then I took him out in 2021 and um yeah, I drove him out there my sister and I turned it into a road trip with him and it was it was beautiful and it was like he there were moments where he was him again. It was really cool. And Isn't he, that the messed up thing about it because there's there. there's moments where oh, you're back. Oh my god, maybe yeah. he'll hold no. Nope. Hey, maybe this can just stop. Right. Yeah. Right? right? Like maybe that ankle won't be sore tomorrow. You know and what then, I mean, mm -hmm. and then it goes. Maybe he's brain right wired. Maybe he's brain wired. You start. You start. Oh, yeah, dude. It's and and it also like not just for the people who are going through it, but it, it's the collateral damage is huge. Yeah, you know, it it takes a bunch of people to look after that person. Yeah, because the joy of this country is we don't have socialized medicine. Mm. So uh doesn't that, work man we've done right it doesn't mean unlike 13 other everyone. countries worldwide that so, are that to kick our ass so and they're living longer yeah so the problem is like those people who are now sacrificing their incomes and their relationship with their children to take care of their parents yeah. Yeah. and they're losing money and they're having problems with their housing payments and the medical bills the the alzheimer's association helps them as well find resources locally legal financial medical and also sometimes psychological dude because you got to be able to sit down and spew this shit out mm -hmm. because not only are you losing your parent you're angry yeah. you're sad yep. no yep. i've got some phone calls i've got some phone calls from you and you just yell. yeah i'm it's sorry upsetting. brother i mean it, it, it's it well, i'm gonna raise mom um was going down and you, the, you have this constant hope oh, maybe this will work maybe this you just yeah. try it maybe this maybe this and then one day you have to accept that wow it's it's over and it doesn't make it, it and the and the journey doesn't make it easier now you don't get you, no the fucked up part is you don't get ready when someone's you don't get ready for it and i want to talk about like so many countries have socialized medicine it's a it's a transfer of wealth the reason that poor people can never get gain any wealth is because of our healthcare system we're all gonna die right, we're right, all right. so whether we're where the rest of the world pays for you and get you okay you're gonna die your your end of life care is there in in the countries right. that have in our country yeah. they drain your bank account yeah. they take your house mm -hmm. they take yeah. everything and it gets given back to the rich people who run the yeah. drug companies and and, and the who mortgage already companies. basically have socialized medicine for themselves yeah. right yes yes well congress our congress uses the ac our, our congress actually uses the uh, uh obamacare they have the best they have the yeah. best cobra health care yeah, for life so, for life yeah. yeah yeah so you i i want to become a congressman just for the just insurance. cash in on that yeah could you imagine but, yeah. but how the fuck do these guys this is what bothers me this is where we need a, a, a and i mean i i don't know if it's a revolution as i'm talking about we need to get serious about voting i think people understood after trump that oh voting's fucking important as shit yeah um but we need to actually flip it so we get enough people in there that can do this because I, I, I keep pointing this out to people that we're, that everybody stays poor because at the end of your life, everything is given away. You can't mm -hmm. pass on anything to your kids. Right. You're, you, you can't, the rich people have it all. You know, and and and, 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 and this, you can track all this shit back to Reagan. You can track it all yeah. back to Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Well, it does, it, like we were talking about before, it does seem like there's a little silver lining with the with what's been happening just recently all the labor unions uh are like that's been kind of rising and bubbling up and then yeah, well, and trump's going down and you know we i feel like the tide is turning a little bit well they had two they had two million people this is the highest uh, uh outturn for even like a midterm and just turnout? just this primary for voting turn yeah in in georgia than they've they've ever had oh, no because, kidding because people for are, the runoff the, for the runoff, it's high. It's high. The the, the turnout is, is higher than even like the midterm. Like it's like three million people showed up wow. to vote in Georgia. Wow, which is insane. 
That's yeah. insane. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, they, they, I, the news would be like, uh, 17 or 23% of the American public voted. You know, you, you, know, you, you got to remember uh, that? It was like in I, the 80s. You know why? I because Canada, we know. had fucking normal people. We were like, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. either one of these guys is going to be okay. Yeah. And then we get, then we get this most, the biggest psycho fuck we've ever had who literally, he announces to run for president and wants to kill the Constitution. And people are still like, that's my guy. And I think the people, other people like us are thinking, just go, oh, we have to vote. We have to, I have to take this yeah. day and I have to yeah. vote. There's got to be a, the, the anti-vampire vote. Or sorry, anti, <laughs> right. anti-werewolf. Anti- werewolf. I don't know. Right. He, said, he said that he was actually uh, 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 wanted to be... He didn't know werewolf will kill a Dracula. Yeah. Now, now Zach's a horror fan. He didn't know that. <laughs> he didn't know in the movie. No, he says that in the speech. He goes, he's I'm watching this movie, Fright Night or, or, or Scare Night or some kind of night. And he goes, and it's it got vampires. It's all about vampires. And the thing is that, uh, uh, by the way, do you guys know, uh, uh, there's werewolves too, but do you guys know a werewolf could kill a vampire? I didn't know that. But and did I he say a go- werewolf can kill a Dracula? Because that's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> werewolf can kill a Dracula. That's just fucking funny. You know what werewolves need? What? Harry's razors. Yes, they. <laughs> wow, that that one. Wow, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was, that was, perfect. That was nice. By, By the way, way shaved to... werewolf is the funniest <laughs> thing. <laughs> that is a, that's a, a bad classification name. of porn, actually, <laughs> in German. <laughs> German. I like I like to I like to shave werewolf. That's my favorite kind. <laughs> Lederhosen. <laughs> Harry's razors, people. You got a guy in your life. You got a lady in your life. You got a werewolf in your life. <laughs> Get them Harry's razors. You used one this morning, by the way. I heard they're good. Yeah, they're Dude, great. Five blades. You don't even. Know, you don't even know. You don't even know. So Ray's. Okay, so all of Ray's family, and you can you go. You read all the. Uh, there's a but all of Ray's family military. Right, Harry is military. Oh, no, sorry, military. <laughs> okay. And uh, and they were like they they knew their shit. They're like don't these are the razors. I got to keep it high and tight. We sent them the gift set, uh, five blades during their their own German factory. Um, in fact, that's where they shaved the railroad. <laughs> they shaved the, the, uh, uh, and, the uh, uh, yeah. and all all of them, every single one of them. Uh, my my cousin Scotty too, who's who's a EOD. He, they all mm-hmm. switched. Oh. And these guys were military. They had to keep that shit perfect. Mm. Harry's by far. That's cool. By the way, guys, there's a uh, uh, the gift set coming out, right? It, it, yeah, so yeah, you could order right now. Yeah, Such got- a good, by the way, get these gift sets. They're with this, tell them the deal. <laughs> tell them, the, hey, do me a favor. Tell them the deal. Go ahead. Get the limited edition gift box. <laughs> Harry's new holiday gift boxes. They include the five blade German engineered razor with the weighted handle and the foaming shave gel and a cool, super cool travel cover. All pre-wrapped. It's you don't have to wrap it at all. Nope. Just be oh, lazy. Really? Just buy it. Be <laughs> lazy. The box. The box. That throw it man, under the tree. Not, not, not the, that is a man's dream. Yo, oh, this yeah. is done. I love <laughs> you. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just a yeah. man. Actually, just, it is oh. the perfect. Whoever re-gifting? invented the gift bag. Whoever invented the gift oh, bag. Big well, thing. I want to yeah. hug that yeah, guy. Big thing. Yeah. yeah. Check off all the guys on your list with a Harry's starter set. First time buyers get a thirteen dollar value for just three dollars. Yep. That's Damn. also the thing. You get all that for three bucks. At go to harrys.com slash bombshell, B-O-M-B-S-H-E-L-L. And check out Harry's gift boxes, as we were saying. But act fast. These offers are for a limited time with limited stock at harrys.com I say this slash every, bombshell. I say this every year. Um, Harry's, by the way, uh, slash bombshell. I say, uh, it, guys, order a couple of them because people show up on Christmas and you didn't get them anything. And you go, oh, yeah, here's my, here's my body. <laughs> or the handle's nice and stuff. Yeah, the or, handles are nice. You said oh, it's a weighted oh, yeah, handle yeah, yeah. so it doesn't feel cheap and no, cheap. No, no. Legit. It's funny. I couldn't, huh. even, I couldn't even touch a disposable razor now after using Harry's. They're, they're so hot. And, and, and like, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, three bucks. in your face. You <laughs> got, no, no, no. I saw you look at me like, it's perfect. It's you want to come on. Come on. <laughs> you know you want it. You know, it's like on. a baby but, seal. Uh, because <laughs> I, w- I want to get a bat. That's <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that good. was a good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, we're going to be, uh, by the way, guys, we're going to be at uh, the last shows of the year are going to be uh, Boise, Twin Falls, and Seattle uh, carrying monsters. Uh, we got back from Philadelphia. I got uh, three and a half standing ovations out of five shows. Nice. Three and a half, three and a half, half, a half was weird. It was weird. I was like, "Come people on!" Sure. I kept bowing. I kept bowing, and then, then, then people stand up and they'd be like, "We're not." Fu-. They're like, "No, man, we're, we're, we'll clap." But then we're not. Yeah, it was yeah, getting awkward. It was now. all right. It was about and a one seven, guy was it just was, doing this. It was the a whole seven. Time. Time. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. That's weird, man. Sometimes, sometimes you'll get someone in the audience, and and some of it's my fault because I did a bit once about you want to mess with a comedian. 
Uh-huh. Don't don't say anything. Right. Just yeah. stare at them. Right. So sometimes you'll sit up front and do it because of the bit. Oh, and I really? find it, and so now what I've done is like, dude, I know you saw that special. Stop doing it. They always <laughs> bust. But sometimes you get someone that just just is just. Uh, uh, and and also uh, there was a, a black dude, uh, dreads, and he's sitting up front, uh, and they he was doing that thing where I really had to bust him, and I it was, I forget which joke it was. It was it was something, and he and he lost it, and then got embarrassed that I busted him, and so the whole rest of the show I just kept pounding on him he was great he ended up being great i just don't understand when people go to comedy club and just you know, all right yeah i'll decide what's funny why are you fucking mm-hmm. even here yeah yeah yeah. did you just stumble in here yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know they're having a shitty day i mean here's the thing is like it, it's a i get it i get it to a certain degree because I, I go to i go to comedy clubs yeah and I you're wanna, very judgmental I, of fucking hell i am i had an amazing education you were one of my teachers when it came to working on a show watching mm-hmm. real funny mm-hmm. And the reality is if I watch funny and someone's like, blah, 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 fuck shit, fuck shit. I'm like, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or they're falling back on a trope or they're falling on like, yeah, this is yeah. my wokeness that I can depend upon. I was, I'm out. Yeah. I was talking to a guy on the, uh, I was doing an interview for this benefit I'm doing on Friday and, and, uh, and the reporter. And I said, I try to not be standard. I really work hard to not right. be standard. I was talking about this suicide, but I'm doing about my sister and, and, uh, and, and and the guy was and he knew exactly what I said. The, the standard when a guy walks in the mic and goes, "So I was shaving my balls," and and you it, you know yeah. it's not even funny. You know you're gonna get a reaction. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get a reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels cheap. Yeah, it just feels but cheap. Like, and there's moments like that where I'm like I pull out and yeah. I just like I'm waiting patiently to get to if they have any good material. On the flip side, I also know like I, just as a human being, I've had shitty fucking days and it's got to be hard for you. I've only done stand up like 5 6 times. How did you what, I, explain I you remember when you were doing this? Explain this to me how this went. <laughs> I want to know how this goes. Cuz Zach, cuz Zach Ward, by the way, cuz you're one of the funniest people like you and I together is re- are ridiculously funny. You're so funny. Like on that show, and, and everybody tells me all the time, and I wish they'd shut up when I'm on the road. Oh man, his brother's so good. So, yeah, okay. Thank yeah, <laughs> thank you. Make uh, say it till he cries. That's my favorite part. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the show is named after me. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. It's my show. No, that was <laughs> no. I learned. I, and I stole it from Seinfeld. They asked Seinfeld one day about why his show was so funny, and he said, "Because I told him to cast the funniest people around me." I said, mm-hmm. "I want I want people funnier mm-hmm. than me," and I told. I told Jack, I said, you know, someone said when you actually, this was said after you left the audition and we were talking about hiring you and they go, they go, well, he's going to really be funny. I go, yeah, that's what I want. And then Shatra came in with some crazy shit that he, you know, Shatra. So, so David Shatra, if you guys know Tommy on the show, he would actually get a prop and then spend, Zach and I were just, you know, getting ready to do our scene and he'd be off to the side working on a bit. He was oh, like a magic yeah. trick. Yeah. Like he would do he it. He was yeah. doing it here when we did yes, the two episodes. Yeah, yeah, he does. So I'm like, oh, yeah. he's off doing well, painting something. It made something. perfect sense for his, pers- his character because char- his character was very persnickety and very yeah. specific. Ours was not in regards to that. So we could swing that and trust our instincts on it. If we're going to do like a hitty thing or whatever, we had to be careful. But his stuff was dialed in, bro. Yeah. It was nice. So back to your question about doing stand. All right, tell me, tell me how this went down. I want to, I want to hear. Because by the way, it's one of those you have to be psychotic to become a stand up, and I mean, you have to believe that you're the funniest person in the room, which you do. You have to, you have to know you're going to be the most correct, charismatic person in a room full of strangers. You have to actually think you're going to make them. You're going to create a real emotion in strangers instantly. That's serial killer level shit. I for me, okay. So for me. For me, <laughs> watching you was a really great education. Watching how you built jokes and turned them into a set, and being around you as a friend, uh, and watching you talk through the the jokes and the ideas that you turned into a, a set on stage. Right. And so, what was interesting to me is because for a lot of times I get, watch one of your shows, and to me, it's not as funny. Not because you're not funny, but because I've seen all the prep on this, so I know that right. quote joke is a story that. But I'm watching how it's layered out. It's really fucking interesting. It's really, it's this incredible. I'm glad that blueprint. you watch my comedy like a documentary. I like it. <laughs> oh, like I'm the Ken Burns like, of comedy. Well, yeah, not studying it. Crowd, like crowd howling. He's like, mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> I remember the development in this one. This. You know, the past of this joke is, uh, <laughs> no, is, is no, quite, no, is quite, is quite it varied. Is, it's like very, very few people get to see a successful, talented comedian develop material and then deliver the material and then polish the material and then get it to the pinnacle of its performance. And I've gotten to see that with you multiple fucking times. And also when we're doing the, when we're doing the Titus show together. So there was part of that, that when I was watching other standard comedians, I'd be like, that's not funny. 
I'm funnier than this mm-hmm. dude. At least, yeah. And it also, I kept on. There was a moment where I was frustrated by life, and I was like, "What's the difference between me and Christopher Titus?" Christopher Titus goes out and does things, and I'm waiting for the world to oh. do things for mm-hmm. me. So that's well, that's also, a that's a that's a man insight right there. That's yeah. a full on man insight. Wow. Yeah. So you know, t- I I had been working on producing a feature film for about seven years, raising the money for that after the series finished. Yep. And my first feature that I produced uh, was uh, Don't Blink in two thousand. Great, great movie. Not a bad one at all. No. Uh, t- shot it in two thousand ten, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. So, anyways, uh, for doing stand up, I got to a point where. Uh, there was a window of opportunity over at Flappers. They were having opening mic night yeah, type of thing, yep. but not a not a normal schmuckatelli open mic night. No offense to them, but it was a little bit more upper class. And I was like, okay, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, and I killed. Yeah, I killed because I was telling stories about my childhood, right? And I kind of mm-hmm. sw- I kind of had my little book of ideas, and I was like, "Fuck this!" And I went to town, and I could feel the you pace. risked the entire set. You didn't yeah. write shit down. I wrote a bunch of ideas, and I'm like, "Fuck this!" I want to connect. Great, that's nice. right? <laughs> it's, so, it, by the way, it, that's the hardest way to do stand up. Burr does that. Bill Burr will just start throwing ideas around, and over six months, they'll develop into tight yeah. bits. But yeah. it takes a you have to yeah. stay committed to it. So, and here's where I, then then I fucked up. Uh-huh. So I had that amazing experience first and set first set amazing killed it okay mm-hmm. and there was a guy if i got his f- picture you'd be like oh i know him he's a good comedian him and uh, a number of other comedians were there and they came up to me after me like holy shit zach you're fantastic at this i'm like oh, this is easy right like, <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah. i think we should all lean back and be like mm-hmm. and then it all went wrong yeah oh, dude um, that's everybody but everybody uh, yeah you could have kept going see but I, I always say you always get the first one Yay. well so i got that and then there was my next time up was at the ha ha cafe on a monday night oh. during a comedy competition and i was before the mc and what i didn't know is everybody in the audience was there to compete except oh, me shit. so they were watching like right they're not gonna so give it, it was, it was a room full of comedians yeah who were pissed oh. yeah. and i had rewritten all my material uh. the night before and that's when i remember you telling me like no stupid that's not how it works you polish what you got yeah and i was like okay and no, every show I do brand new stuff. <laughs> but that's, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. So <laughs> I, and I well, know the pain of this. I, uh, I felt like I just ate ass. And <laughs> then I got, there was a CD, uh, they had a DVD burden of it, DVD. So I could see, I was like, you know, it wasn't as bad as it felt. I'm so glad I felt like I just fucking shit myself. Yeah, dead silence. It was that. great because I'm like, I'm still here. Yeah. yeah. That don't hurt. Yeah. Okay, that's that. That's what everybody's worried about. Yep. And I did. I pouted like a little bitch for a minute. And then I saw the DVD and I was like, I rushed. I didn't take time. Mm-hmm. I didn't let anything breathe. I pushed too hard. All right. And I was trying to jam too many ideas 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. And then I kept on doing a little bit. And what happened was, and you'll get this, I got to a point, and also I was a drinker. I was a big drinker. Mm-hmm. And I got to a point where. I realized I had to make a decision. For me to get good, it's I had to go to get good. I yeah. had to be yeah. up on at it and get yep. rid of that those the I had to be comfortable on that yep. stage. Bomb a bunch of times. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But and make that something that's a goal in my life. A eh? weekly you have to go up five times a week, six times a week. You have yeah. to start getting book. You could have too, with people oh, know who you were. You could exactly. have got booked. And also the other thing I saw that was a problem is because people know who I am and knew who I was even more so then. You're gonna have to address it. I'm gonna have to address it. And also every other comedian wanted to fucking cut my throat. Every other comedian at that place was they're talking, having their moment as comedians. And then they look at me like, oh, there's actor boy. That's always the new guy though. Yeah, but see, no, I didn't know this because no one's talking to me. And I yeah. was like, and as a drinker at the time, the effect it had on my following day was that I didn't get much done yeah. because I was googity, googity, yeah. googity, drinking courage. And then I was like, I have to choose one life or the other. You were yeah. going up drunk. Not going alcohol? up drunk. No, but alcohol in you? 
probably uh, Dude, maybe half a drink or something. I can't do that. I I mean, I'm talking yeah. one drop. I my brain stops. I don't oh, know. You yeah. know what's a better liquid courage? No. Athletic greens. Yeah, see, there you go. That's that that's what I take before <laughs> I go on stage, the athletic yes. greens. It's the antioxidants that help your brain to be whole. <laughs> they do, man. They do. It's like see this, That's why vegans so this, are so funny. Have you tried athletic greens? No, I have Dude, not. Dude, okay, so you know all the green drinks you would get like you know and they taste horrible like you have to get ready. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're like you make it and you're like oh, so you're, oh, and then your poop looks athletic, amazing. Athletic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> athletic greens, by the way, is tastes good. It's got like this tropical things in it. Guy that invented it was having gut problems. Didn't invent it to make money. He invented it for him. Ah. And then it was so good. And you put like, oh man, how many, how many, how many things in it? Like 70, there's 70 different. It's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, uh, dairy free, or gluten free. Uh, and here's my favorite part. It costs you less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. It's also cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. So it's, it's so good. You can taste it. It, it, it makes you feel better. Uh, you know, it's, I used to go get uh, wheatgrass. Oh, I can't uh, stand that shit. God. Uh, and this is just like, ha. Uh. Contains uh, less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals nope. or artificial anything while still tasting good. Supports better sleep quality and recovery. Supports yep. mental clarity and alertness. Yep. By yep. the way, if you're a man and something that supports better sleep actually supports testosterone growth. Yep. So that's the way you get- And a, muscle growth. But exactly. So that you get, you're, you get a giant wiener from having a good night's sleep. And so this is giving you a giant wiener. That is wow. actually the next um, uh, okay. mandatory thing I have I'll, to say. All right, then. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's can't, I can't wait to get the can't get, get the note from the from the company. <laughs> hey, by the way, we do not claim to give anybody a giant. We are not paid by anyone to say these things. <laughs> it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five yep. free travel packs with your first purchase. I take them on the road. I actually use them on the road. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Titus. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash Titus to take ownership Don't over you have your to read health. All, you have to read the ingredients. You, uh, read the, you, you did read they, some of it. They give you... Guys, all I can say about athletic greens is uh, every time I have it, um, so I would, I, 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 my body reacts to stuff. Like, so I, when I would take wheatgrass, like, and for 30 minutes, I, 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 it, it just, it's, I, I like shake. I don't know why. Huh. Ray, Ray goes, I never feel anything. I go, I, I can feel it. Huh. Athletic greens, uh, and, and not in a bad way, athletic greens doesn't get me jacked up, but I do about a half an hour later, I just feel like calmer, better. And the sleep thing is true. Yeah. And especially because I'm on the road traveling and my, and my clock it's all gets messed up. Oh, oh dude, wow. it's crazy going three hours that way and three hours home. And I, I take it on the road uh, in, in hotels and stuff. And, oh, so helpful. That's cool. Take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Athleticgreens.com slash Titus. Nice. So that is nice. why I stopped because I, I, I was writing films. I was working on getting other films made and TV shows and right. so forth. And I knew that I couldn't do both because at that time I was still a big heavy drinker. You're also really good at, at, at being your friend for a long time. You're, you're one of the few people I know that will make practical decisions very quickly. You'll actually, you come up against something and you don't hem and haw a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You just go, hmm, I got to do that. I can't do that. Right. Uh, whether it was quitting drinking, whether it was uh, you, you know, stand up, you you got the you, you got the juice. Yeah, you that first show you got the juice, and a lot of people they just chase the juice, man. Yeah. After that, you know, I always wanted to do something different with my comedy. I, I watched. Um, uh, I liked when Lily Tomlin made people funny. I, it's funny. I, I said this in a meeting once, and people looked at me like I was crazy. I said, "Funny is easy. I can write jokes. It's what's the situation and how do I get to the pathos of it?" And and, and they go, "What do you mean funny is easy?" I go, "Well, I can write a joke about anything. I've shown you." But, but I go, "But I go, what's the situation that makes the joke makes makes the joke worth it?" Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what's, what what gives the joke gravitas? What yeah, makes yeah, you, what yeah, makes yeah. you remember the it? point of it? Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's why when we did Titus, you know, Titus came from one story, came from, it came from uh, the, uh, something I learned that everything you do in your present is usually based on something that happened in your past. 
That's why the flashbacks were the flashbacks. That's why when yeah, the when yeah. the that's when when the guys the writers would pitch flashbacks that didn't match what we were doing. I'm like, what does that have to do with the scene we're doing? I go, it's just funny. I go, no, no, no. Uh, and it has the to be funny. Family guy <laughs> it has to be funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. they were they were. And then funny. Muhammad comes in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no cut to the bank. No cut to the bank. Um, so, uh, so that so you you should make practical decisions, man. Very quickly. I was really glad you married your your wife is lovely. I'm really glad Thanks. you got married because I think you I think you have somebody that keeps you uh, less Zach. <laughs> uh, see, I don't I don't know if I, I I I love my wife. I think she's a wonderful person, and I disagree with you. Uh, I think that what we have in our relationship is two grown ups who like themselves enough that they're comfortable to be alone and get along with the other person without giving the other person too much power over them. Yeah, we, I'm, yeah I'm not that. Yeah, I know. And so it's like, but, but <laughs> I, don't so need, I don't need my wife to make me anything that I'm not already, and she doesn't need me to make her anything that she's not already. And I think that's the difference yeah. for our dynamic. Well, I feel like that with me and Ray. Me and Ray, you know, we, me and Ray, I've never had a, I've never had, a, it's so weird. You hear that cliche bullshit. I need a best friend. And she really is, man. We were together on the road all the time, 24 yeah. seven. And we're buddies, man. You know, and then mm -hmm. we get home on Sunday and she'll go watch her shows and I'll come out here and work on the hot rod. And, and it's, yeah. And then later on you put on the tuxedo with the pull away pants and then she's got the weird thong thing going on and then you just get crazy. I yeah. know. Yeah. You sent yeah. the pictures. I wish you'd stop. Did she have, <laughs> did Sorry. she have anything to do with, um, um, I'm curious about the you 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 stop drinking. Is it no? Do you I, drink at all, or no, is it like I don't drink alcohol completely? At all. Yeah, I I don't drink any alcohol at all, and it uh, a lot of it had to do with the Alzheimer's because ah. uh, my dad has limited amount of time, and when you you know you start when you get the diagnosis about Alzheimer's, the weird thing is you start going back in time like. So that conversation we had a while ago, where you said that weird fucking thing, and I was like, oh, dad, yeah. That was Alzheimer's, dude. Right. That was, oh, fuck. When you made that statement that didn't make it, like literally one time, okay, my dad comes to my house. He's helped me installing this TV that I right. hang from my ceiling. Right. He's leaving and he, he needed money to fix his truck. I'm like, look, I got $2,000 cash from a thing I did. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the money. All right. And he get, leaves and he turns around, knocks on the door. He's like, oh yeah, I bought those bolts. From uh, for hanging the television, they were they were eighteen dollars. I'm like, I just gave you two grand. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, how would you pay me back nineteen hundred and eighty dollars? Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, I'm like, oh, dad. But that moment is the brain wasn't able to make the connection. Yeah, and and so when you go through the yeah, dude, it's free. Does alcohol have an effect on this? Do they? I no, I don't know about that. But for me, the amount of time that I have left because a my dad. I wanted to be present. That was, was the I same. I wanted to be fucking mouth. Yeah. present, and the and it's, and it, it was the easiest thing. Like you say, being practic pragmatic, it's the easiest way, the cheapest way, the, the quickest way to lose fat, stop being depressed, be better at my job, be a better husband, be a better Zach, be a better son, be there for my dad before he dies. We're fuck dying before he's just gone that I can make that decision like this. And it's the, it's the fastest way to make it better. Yeah? yeah. And also if it helps me not get it, I mean, I got no guarantees, dude. But yeah, that was one of the big motivators for that. Isn't it weird the nightmare we live in uh, as we get older of watching the people that created us and think about like my dad's heart. My, like my dad died at 58. Mm -hmm. Died. Mm -hmm. You're how old now? 58. <laughs> 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 but see that fear and my mom was mentally ill your dad at 58 looked like he was 70 yeah he, and did. he didn't work out a day in his like, life no and and he ate linguisa and pizza mm -hmm. and never did anything yeah. to help mm -hmm. he did yeah. he, he my dad my jesus christ he never did anything no mm -hmm. anything he looked like do you ever see lock stock and two smoking barrels yes that guy was like all right, you fucks, yeah. you little welch bastard, yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. go. The governor, that guy was younger than me. And he wow. looked, yeah. dude, yeah. there's a whole documentary on him. And he looks like he was in his late 60s and he died like 52. And I was like, bro, I look like I could be your kid. So what no, it, it's a thing. Well, alcohol ages you too, because yeah. it just dries you out. Oh, yeah. That's, so, why, yeah. that's why I'm stopping. I'm yeah. stopping. I, I, uh, I, I'm stopping. I, I can't. The beginning's hard, bro. The beginning is hard because it keeps on, your brain is still- Ready to go home and have a drink. It's still mm -hmm. designed for that kick. 
Yeah. So you got to find something else to fill it. I started filling it with massive salads with massive amounts of avocado and shit yeah. so that I get this huge satiated uh, chemical right. dopamine hit like yummy and all these yeah. meats and all this shit. So I just pig out and stuff myself. And then that helped e uh, wean me off of the alcohol process. And I literally, I swear to God, I would, I, I had one night when Jen was out of the house and I was like, oh, there's a, cause I drink soda water. Yeah. It tastes kind of like alcohol. Right, Soda water right. with some little, stuff little, in it. Tiny little burn. Yeah, yeah. it's got that burn. Mm -hmm. oh, I could be having a vodka. I'm a pirate. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow, I, like, I don't. Okay. Well, try it. <laughs> <laughs> try the pirate thing. Just out help. of the blue. I'm a pirate. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> by the way, you know, man, that's just fun to just say. Just a sentence in, in public. It can't hurt. And uh, if you do it while you're skipping, you'll never be sad a day in your life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a pirate. <laughs> Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Solve the world's problems. And uh, I started thinking like, oh, there's a there's a white claw in the back of the fridge. I'm like, oh, well, I don't get drunk off a white claw. Yeah, I mean, but it's kind of like soda water. I could have just one. And then, well, well, I'd have to replace it. Well, they don't sell them by singles, so I'd have to buy a case. Then I have to drink the rest of those. I was like, you motherfucker. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. literally got in in the mirror. I was like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You don't get to take this from me. You piece of shit. Fuck off. Get away from me, you human garbage. You're nice. not me. I'm Talk me. to yourself. There you go. Yeah, Good. to myself. Yeah. Because that little bitch demon behind you, like, come on, you can have just one. Mm. Nice. Mm. You know what you should Kill drink instead? Liquid IV. Yeah. Yay! Perfect, man. Did we oh, just need a couple more times. It's almost like we psychically led you to the ads yeah, today. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's connected with visceral <laughs> intensity. <laughs> um, uh, those liquid IVs uh, again. What are they? So, oh, you, oh, we have to. I, I don't know. What oh, are. yeah, we got a whole oh, supply dude. up there. You're going okay. home with somebody. Do you actually stick yeah, a so thing it, in the air? No, you, no, no. You it, do not. Okay, so, it was, it was designed for, it used to be used, uh, it basically, so the one thing that we have problems with uh, is uh, dehydration. Everybody does it. Nobody, it, it's, it's hard. And, and once you get so dehydrated, you can't almost can't catch yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, liquid IV is like, was it three times uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the hydration? Water alone, hydration than water alone. Two times oh. faster. Two times faster. Two right? times faster. Right, and more fish than water selling. alone. Yep, keep going. Uh, grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, oh, or get twenty percent off when you shop Better Hydration at liquidiv.com and is. use the code Titus at checkout. That's twenty percent off anything with code Titus at liquidiv.com. Does it describe what's in it? What is in it? Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, one stick of liquid IV. Right. Um, put into 16 ounces of water, hydrates oh. you twice as fast and more efficiently than water alone, contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Dude, it, dude, it, it, it's... Oh, so it's a powdery. Yeah, it's like you a, put it, comes it, in a, little, yeah. it comes in a little envelope and you just put it in the water and uh, I have it all the time and, and it's... I, my head clear, like if I have a headache... Oh, like, I bet it would. Go gone. And, and, oh, that's uh, cool. Uh, or if I, I've just been times I've just felt, you ever feel like, just like what's the word I'm going to use? Uh, <laughs> clinky. Where mm -hmm. you just, your muscles a little sore. Boom. Gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it is the best. You've got we, we have doms. Envelopes. We have like Delayed 12, onset muscle soreness. We have 12. Right. We have we always have like 12 bags in the, in the closet. I was just in England doing an autograph signing and I got massive food poisoning and i was crapping oh, yeah. really bro yeah. this was this i haven't come had handy this because of dehydration i yep. have yeah. not had this type of thing happen i woke mm. up at two o'clock in the morning like <clears throat> oh, and it yeah. was all day i was like shaking mm. and they don't have gatorade over there dude they don't have it so trying to get uh something that i was like i was trying to explain to the guy like what do they give to babies when they have diarrhea pedialyte. and vomiting yeah. Yeah. they don't have pedialyte there bro yeah well, Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Wait a minute. Why so if I had brought, if uh, I'll be honest with you, I will happily mm -hmm. bring something, a portable unit that's yeah. small and light when I travel because we always you, travel. We always have it. We always have it. Oh, dude, because uh, it was horrific. Yeah. Well, again, just getting, we travel so much. You get on the plane. The, the plane is sucking every ounce of moisture out of your oh, yeah. body with the, with the recirculated with air. All the farts. Yeah. And the farting of the people. <laughs> My God. Do you know? I mean, when I get on the plane, I get two blankets. You know a lot One about farting. One blanket. Too. For to keep me warm the other blanket to wedge between my legs so it can soak up all the farts and then what you do is when you're getting leaving the plane you throw the blanket away from you <laughs> really? so it just Are like you kidding oh no i'm dead serious, <laughs> <laughs> dead serious. <laughs> You guys. people I've, we've told this story before this dude i told i just had an interview with somebody about the show because uh, crack magazine's doing an article about the show 
uh, the Titus show. And uh, this fucking guy. Like no. we would literally be on set, getting ready to go. We'd rehearse. I'd go to film. All right, guys, y- you ready? So we got the audience there. It's live. 500 Aud- people. 500 people watching the show. We're in the middle of the show. Mm-hmm. This dude, they're getting ready. We're doing the flashbacks. They're running on the screen. So it's about We're to back cut. to you in three, two, two. He would fucking drop a, <laughs> drop, he called it drop in a potato. <laughs> right on, right on like, you. Three, two, 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 two. And then action. And I'm like, and I'm walking through this cloud of fun. <laughs> yeah, I have to and I would, I would do this be, face. <laughs> yeah, by the way, comic timing. He would do this sometimes. Perfected. And, so, and when he knew he got me, yeah, when he knew he got me, he'd be like this. His lip quivering because he knew he fucking. How many times have we buzzed? I, one uh, time we're doing it and I go, yeah, it's about it. God damn it. <laughs> and I walk oh, off. And on the slow mo, you can see his not. He's like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go, the audience, and I go, I go, he just farted, guys. And he's like, that goes, what? I don't know. What? <laughs> that guy said, man, do you remember that night? And, I don't know and then Jack and Brian are like, guys, get it together. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you come he's over farting. here. Yeah, yeah. Walk through this. <laughs> Cynthia, I remember Cynthia and David just go, boom, they yeah, just disappear. Gone. Gone. I go, he farted. They go, boom, they just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> The problem was, you were brutal. It was man. brutal. I was yeah. I was adjusting my diet. Now the reality was I was uh, I had stomach issues. I had IBS, and and I had gone through all this testing, all this food testing. Uh, you know when they stick this thing yeah, in yeah. your back to find yeah. out if you're allergic to it. I went through all this stuff. I, at one point, I did not poop for nine days. Oh my, oh my god! god. Yeah. And then no. I and broke then he up. decided to do it on the set. <laughs> no, and <laughs> then literally, and I gone through. I was I had so much pain on a regular basis. My ex wife and I separated. And I took a massive dump, and I've never had a problem since. Interesting. So it was all stomach tension yes. from being in uh, from uh, all her shit. Well, I'm not going to blame all, her completely. Okay. I was not a pleasure to be around, wow. but I will say that the way that I perceived and and you know showed my tension was to just have massive stomach problems. By the gotcha. way, your brain and your stomach, your stomach actually is, con- that's why they call it your gut feeling. Yeah, it's actually connected directly to your brain. So there's so much. So yeah. when you're t- anxiety. You're actually putting it right yeah. fucking And we've known each other long enough that your brain is connected to my gut because when I fart, you know, and you're like, something's <laughs> evil. <laughs> so, this something is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so that's trying to warn me. <laughs> this person's a bad guy. There's a, there's a darkness yeah, there, 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 yeah, surrounding us. There, there's <laughs> the, dark, the, the darkness. The force. There's yeah, a the ghost because yeah. I smell death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It was, you were you're brutal. It was fucking uh, brutal. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Not all heroes wear capes <laughs> i don't know what that means they shit themselves <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some hero shit and that's themselves. why this newest product is important to discuss <laughs> no, we don't have we're done no, 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 we're, no, done. No, we're, no, done. Okay. we're done all right guys uh guys i want you to you know so uh, the, um uh, in two weeks we're going to be in uh <laughs> twin falls boise or sorry boise twin falls then seattle last shows of the year do me a favor though go to the uh, christophertitus.com we have lists of shows for uh january and february those are great christmas gifts people that are titus fans and ray's going to be there ray's new show ray was God, I got to be honest with you. I've created a monster with Ray. She's oh. created it. But I mean, by getting her into stand up, dude, she's opening the show, killing with this bit of cancer stuff about her mom, killing. And then they boo you when you walk out. Yeah, they're like, like, yeah, bring result. her back. <laughs> yeah. No, she, she's just, she's become, she's becoming a monster. She's 13 years in. She's becoming a monster. Um, but we're, we're going to be there uh, at the Neptune Theater in Seattle. Come to that show. That'll be the last show of the year. Uh, it's our favorite place to perform. So I hope to see you there. And now to end it up. It's Highlander's Fun Facts. Fun Facts. Wait, where are you going with that? Oh, Highlanders I thought we were doing a little fun short one. Fact. Highlanders Fun Facts. It's Hi- time for Highlander's Fun Fact. Nothing? You were going to jump in? He Do just, harmony? I'm just enjoying. Okay. Okay. So stop. It's acapella. God damn. Uh, believe it or not, wombats and Zach Ward's poop is cube shaped. <laughs> 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 this apparently- Wait, <laughs> What? <laughs> They shit yes. Rubik's cubes. That's yes. crazy. How does that even come <laughs> out? This apparently has to do with their- what kind of Play-Doh fun factory is that that wombats have? Yeah. That went, and what's the point? Do, do they, they build things buttholes? with them? Is that I mean, you, you know, it's beavers, like Play-Doh beaver, things. It would make you... sense that beavers would do it because they could build oh, a dam yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, that yeah. would make sense. Yeah, your little bricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cube shape. Apparently, it has to do with their digestive process. Well, no shit, and various bodily contractions. Yeah, that's wombat's cool. poop is cube shaped. That's weird. It'd be cool, man. I, I would make some a cup a pair of dice out of it. It'd be great. 
Ooh, yeah. Just be, all right, guys. Just petrify it. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. That's a, that's a good one. We're, we're playing this game. What is that? <laughs> it's wombat shit. You, you, you win? You, uh, you, you win? It's, it's your turn. No, you win. You win. You win. We'll go with your Your eyes were so intense. When said. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, my friend. Thank you for being on and, uh, and helping you. us out with Arabian Gone. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And please, guys, uh, on December 18th, 17th and 18th, Zach Ward. Uh, in Akron, Ohio. Uh, in no, in um, Cleveland, Ohio, December 17th, and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Christmas Story House. And then December 18th from 11 a.m. at the uh, Highland Theater in Akron, Ohio. Go see the movie. It's great. And also donate to the Alzheimer's Association, right? Yes, please. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, for myself, Highlander, and Zach Ward, uh, and the Bomb Show. Later. There could be only one. Merry Christmas. Hey, there you, there go. you go. You know, it's illegal to say that now, according to certain people. You're canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Say uncle. There we go. Yeah.